Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I am doing a Fandom of the Month box, and yes. So dual camera, scooting over, and let's open up this a box. Now, right off the top, I can see that this is either going to be a Hobbit-themed box or Lord of the Rings, which, okay, she's done this fandom once before, what, since I've been a member. So this is obviously Bilbo, or no, this, no, because it has the pin of Gladriel, so... Um, I don't know. This looks like Bilbo's silhouette to me, but it could quite possibly be Frodo. So, I don't know. This is the one ring. The back of the card, it says the normal generic thing. Thank you for being a subscriber to Fandom of the Month. Blah, 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 blah. So, nothing too unique there. The card is relatively uninspired and ununique, too. Everything comes wrapped in yellow tissue. And... Here is the bag. Now, the bag shows the bag end door, and it says, There's no knowing where you might be. S swift swept off to. There's no knowing where you might be swept off to. Which I don't remember when that sort of saying came into play at all within the books or the movie, but see, I. Uh, I've only read the books once, and that was years ago, and the movies I've maybe seen like four times, five times. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what's inside. I'm going to dump everything out. Oh, no, this this is absolutely stunning. This is a bracelet. Let me pull the yellow back over. Now, this is a very beautiful bracelet. I absolutely love this. This is obviously inspired by Galadriel's pins and just her head dress. This is very blingy, very shiny, very pretty. It is bendable so you can fit a fat man wrist into it and wear it, which I like it a lot. I think it's very much so worth it. And it's just a very kind of basic little bangle thing. Likey, likey. Very pretty. The next thing looks like, well, these are earrings. These are hoop earrings, which... I mean, I'm not impressed with, I can tell right now. These are definitely more of a brassy kind of color. Nothing amazing. I mean, I can't even undo these. Um, they're not my thing, these sort of earrings. They're just, they're just not. I mean, I think they're mildly tacky. I mean, I could wear it as a ring on my pinky. Wear it as a little gold ring. But it's really just an earring, and it's it's nothing special. And it doesn't... Look, I'm pushing with all my might to try to unhook it, and it's just not doing it. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but that's a no for me. That's, that's just a ridiculous, stupid item. And if you're allergic to cheap metals, I can tell you right now, these feel very cheap. They're... they're no. I can only wear gold, surgical steel, and silver. Um, I can kind of get away with some cheaper nickel-free metals on occasion, and I can tell you these would definitely break me out. My ears would get infected almost over an hour period. I could just tell by the way it feels. The last thing, this is really cute, and it says, not all those who wander are lost. And it's just, I love this. This is really adorable. I like that a lot. And inside of it is a little compass. That's really cute. I think that is adorable. I wonder if it's accurate. Uh, I don't think it's accurate at all. Because I can get north to swivel anywhere. So, very cute little kind of pendant. Again, it feels really generic. Um, nothing special about it. It does show the Fellowship of the Ring right there. Let's see. Focus. Now you're trying. Focus. It shows the fellowship of the ring in the silhouette. Uh, nothing special, really. This fandom bag feels really sadly generic. There's nothing special about it. There were only three items in it this time, which is the minimum amount she would said she put in a bag. She did announce that she was going to do a Pokemon box at some point. Now I don't know if it's going to be a little late for her to do a Pokemon box and catch on to the whole Pokemon Go bandwagon. But this box is just eh. It feels really generic to me. 
Um, the bracelet's the cutest thing. I think the compass is adorable, but it's it's meh. It's not an accessory I would really want or really have strived to find. And I can't really imagine a girl striving to find that either. So I don't know. This box was really kind of... It was a loser box for me. So, yes, I still I still need to film the year of the fandom. I think I'm going to push that back and do two years at once. Because I can tell you, if she doesn't do a Nightmare Before Christmas box for December, I'm not going to continue the service. This is... This is getting kind of too repetitive. There is not any reason to have redone a fandom in all reality. I could understand it with, like, Harry Potter, because that was their initial, like, I'm starting out fandom that they did was Harry Potter. So that makes sense to me. But repeating Lord of the Rings, I mean, this is the second Lord of the Rings one she's done. If it would have been The Hobbit and she would have done things centralized around Bag End and she would have done things about um, Mor uh, Moria and just those sort of things, it would have been cooler. No, no, not Moria. can't remember what it's called. Moria's in the Fellowship, I mean, Lord of the Rings. So it would have been a lot more interesting to have seen the difference between the Lord of the Rings one she did and a Hobbit one, but she did another Lord of the Rings one. So yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. I'll have links to this service down below. So if you guys want to get it, it isn't a bad service by any means. It's just I'm getting fed up with it because of lots of repetition and lack of originality with the items, which, yeah, that's my big hiccup. So if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. I'll have links to it down below. Follow, Follow my links. It'll help me earn a free box. <laughs> we'll see how that plays. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys later and bye-bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then subscribe!